What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. So, Foodie returns to YouTube. And, you know, I gotta say, we all knew this was gonna happen. We just didn't know when or how. So, she posts a community question. Hey, guys. So, I'm thinking about trying out a makeup brand here in Kuwait called Kilo Milano. I was wondering if any of you guys had any experience with it. Thanks. Now, this is something we've talked about Chantal doing in the past, where she puts up a question, and then she wants engagement. She wants people to respond, because that helps drive traffic to the channel. So, I'm just going to go over the first and most prevalent comment. I'm a little confused. Didn't you quit YouTube? To which people automatically respond, defending Chantal and saying, she's just asking a simple question. Listen, YouTube is not her sounding board for asking questions about makeup. And I would actually offer, in terms of Ramadan, makeup should be one of the last things on her mind. Even if one person tells her it's a very, very popular brand in Europe and in their city and that they enjoy it, you know, the reality is this is not the focus of what Chantal should be doing. And in all sincerity, she kind of does this a lot. She pushes back against everyone. She says that she's leaving. She wants sympathy. She cries on camera. And then, short time later, she'll ask a question like, what's your favorite Burger King menu item? Right? What notch on the crown do you wear for it to fit properly on your head? And then she hopes that that engagement with people that she honestly doesn't care about, I mean, let's be honest. Do you really think that her community's response is going to depend on her buying this makeup or not? No. No. Either A, she's going to buy it or has already bought it because she wants it, or B, she's not going to buy it because she can't afford it because those YouTube checks have came to a screeching halt in terms of what she's been making. And this just, again, shows the misalignment of priorities with her community, VIBs, and herself. As I said, she's got a ton of members on her channel, but I will interestingly offer to you, it seems like either the memberships have dwindled or ceased at the Couples channel because I don't know, over the past three months, she's done one members video. Because when you go to that page, or at least when I went to that page this morning, the members were no longer listed, although they are available to purchase memberships. It seems like most people have left because, quite frankly, they weren't getting any content. So, if you did join that page and you realized that there was nothing there for you or you recently left actually not to create engagement i would love to know why did people just get tired of losing three dollars a month even if it's a small amount of money to someone not providing them any content so if that's the case and you left i'd like to know i'm not joining for the sake of finding out what's not there love to know your thoughts on it be back as soon as i can with more content